False teachers are God's judgment on people who don't want God, but in the name of religion, plan on getting everything their carnal heart desires. That's why a Joel Olstein is raised up. Those people who sit under him are not victims of him. He is the judgment of God upon them because they want exactly what he wants and it's not God. For ourselves, teachers in accordance to their own desires. So you get a Benny Hinn in there who all he wants to do is tell you you're going to have a Mercedes Benz. Those people aren't victims. They're, he is God's judgment upon them. They want what he wants and so they accumulate him to themselves along with all those other teachers because they teach exactly what they want. Do you see that? Perhaps women So just because you feel like you're gifted to do something, that doesn't give you the right to overthrow biblical qualifications. Your pastor affirms all of those things, at least gives lips of earth to it, but she's a woman who believes. When you come to church, when you worship him, you're not doing it for God, really. You're doing it for yourself, because that's what makes God happy. Amen. This is a false pastor. The Bible couldn't be more clear on that. I permit not a woman to teach or take authority over a man. That's end of case. Do you think the woman with the issue of blood cared about what she looked like? The woman, all right. I'm about to take it off. It ain't never. It ain't never. There's no pastor there. Let's just say your paycheck is, or say you get an amount of money, $274.10. So your tithe on that would be $27.41. Well, if it were me, I wouldn't write my check out for $27.41. I'd kick it up to 30 bucks. Just to show the devil that I was gonna be the kind of person that would always go the extra mile. False teachers everywhere in scripture, Old and New Testament, are said to be in it for the money. They make merchandise of you. Now, not to, not to press. I have a similar question from someone who goes to a church that uh, has, a, has a pastor who uh, is a man and all of that, but the adult Sunday school teacher is a woman. No. If they could tithe under the law, then what do you think you ought to do by grace? Yes, there will be people that will misuse your money. Yes, there will be people that will misuse your money. Yes, there will be people that will misuse your money. There are bad doctors, but that doesn't keep you from going when you get sick. This is a false pastor. First Timothy chapter two and verse 12. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, cause the Bible says so. No elder can be a woman because an elder has to be a, a one woman man and the head of his own household. I mean, it's an open and shut case. God tells the serpent that the seed of the woman is going to crush his head, but he also says that the seed of the serpent is going to bruise her heel. And so I have been really, really helping so many women understand that just because your heel has been bruised by a divorce, by a teen pregnancy, doesn't mean that you can't crush the serpent's head. This is a false pastor. Twelve apostles, none of them was a woman. There's no woman in the Old Testament who had an ongoing prophetic ministry. No apostle was a woman. No close follower of an apostle was a woman. The 70 weren't women. Women. So in your view, that's a serious enough to That is a very serious, yeah, because there's no pastor there. Mega church is First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, because the Bible says so. Um, and that's it. The other thing is... You to rise in body or spirit... And let us confess our faith today in the words of the Sparkle Creed. I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. False teachers are God's judgment on people who don't want God, but in the name of religion, plan on getting everything their carnal heart desires. That's why a Joel Olstein is raised up. Those people who sit under him are not victims of him. He is the judgment of God upon them because they want exactly what he wants and it's not God. For ourselves, teachers in accordance 
to their own desires. So you get a Benny Hinn in there who all he wants to do is tell you you're going to have a Mercedes Benz. Those people aren't victims. They're, he is God's judgment upon them. They want what he wants and so they accumulate him to themselves along with all those other teachers because they teach exactly what they want. Do you see that? There's a Perhaps shift really taking place in the world. And only those who are willing to break out of their routine are going to be able to be on the cutting edge of what God wants to do in the earth. And while you could grieve your routine, you may mess around and miss God. God needs a few crazy people who don't mind getting out of line. God needs a few crazy people who don't mind upsetting what they've known so that they can step into what God wants to do now. Jesus was man until God touched him and put the spirit of the living God on the inside of him. And that's encouraging today. But what happens if your husband says, honey, would you wash my feet? <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> wash your own stupid stinking feet. <laughs> what do you think I am, a slave in this house? But what do you think the greatest threat is to the church in our generation? It's pastors. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so essentially I believe that there are two qualifications for any woman preacher. And the first one would be that she know and love the Word of God, that she be a diligent reader of the Word of God. And then the second would be that she delight to obey Jesus, that she delights to be in total submission to Him as He has revealed Himself in His Word. And so when you put those two very reasonable qualifications together for any woman who wants to preach, you find out that oh snap, there's no such thing as a qualified woman preacher because there's no such thing as a woman who delights to be in submission to Jesus, who reads his word, who comes away thinking, I'm the one who ought to be preaching this word. And I would explain the passages to you, except I assume this is a co-ed audience, so maybe you should go find a qualified man preacher to tell you what the scripture has to say about that. And they do it in the name of Jesus, all this in the name of Jesus. It is a lie. It is a blasphemous lie. It is a lie that preys on the weak and the desperate and preys on the people who have nothing but fallen, corrupt, unregenerate, normal human desires. The Bible doesn't record a single female church leader throughout its entire history. You may wonder why it doesn't make reference to women being leaders of the church. But Jesus started with men. And I believe we should relearn to do it His way and if I had all my time over again, my first priority as a pastor of a church would be to disciple men. That would be my very first priority. All other things would become secondary to that. The women are to keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but are to subject themselves just as the law also says. If they desire to learn anything, let them ask their own husbands at home for it is improper for a woman to speak in church. Was it from you that the Word of God first went forth? Or has it come to you only? If anyone thinks he is a prophet or a preacher or spiritual, let that person recognize that the things which I write to you are the Lord's commandment. But if anyone doesn't recognize this, he is not recognized. Just from that passage alone, there's no lack of clarity with regard to what the Bible says about women who preach. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12, I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, because the Bible says so. Um, and that's it. The other thing is, well, what if a person feels like they have gifts to do that? Uh, no one gets to do everything they feel like they're gifted at. No one does. Um, what if a man who has several wives feels like he's gifted to be a pastor? The Bible says he must be the husband of one wife, right? So just because you feel like you're gifted to do something, that doesn't give you the right to overthrow biblical qualifications. Um, the office of the elder, uh, Paul says, you know, when he's talking about the elder, he must be the husband of one wife. He's talking about a man, okay? That office is exclusively for men. Um, that's the office of the pastor teacher. Um, so if the office is exclusively for men, and the Bible is very clear that women are not to teach or exercise authority over men, there's absolutely no room 
um, for women to be in that office or to exercise that authority in the church. The Teaching. I remember going out of the church one Sunday and the pastor looking at Dave and he said, brother, you should be teaching that Bible study, not your wife. That's part of the definition of generosity, to be to lavish more than enough, always more than enough, not just barely enough to get by, but always more than enough. Come on, I want you to be the kind of person that will go the extra mile and live life with excellence. I'm not, I'm not saying anybody no. in particular, if anybody's no. listening, there's nobody in particular. Yeah, well, but. you know, people, I don't, I don't know anyone either who's mm -hmm. going through this, but I think people infer a lot. But I will say this, like, Preachers are human. Mm -hmm. So if you are who you are and you can cheat on your wife and a preacher can cheat on his wife, like he's a man too, she's a woman too. When unqualified leaders are left unchecked, the consequences are far reaching. Congregations suffer, faith is shaken, and the church's reputation is tarnished. The impact on individual believers is profound. They are like Jesus says, a sheep led astray by their own lusts and vulnerable to the wicked. The Bible warns us of false prophets who use their religion to get rich, 2 Peter 2 3, and promises that God will judge those who exploit the poor and needy, Jeremiah 22 13. The problem most of the time is members who do not hold their leaders accountable to the highest standards of integrity, humility, and service. Perhaps women pastors and women preachers are the most obvious evidence of churches rebelling against the Bible. I can't think of anything that's as far reaching and transcends all denominations as the woman's rebellion against the Word of God with regard to women preachers. All this talk about the judgment on our country because of its immoralities and everything else, never forget judgment always begins with the household of God. And um, I am astounded at the lack of the fear of the Lord and the lack of biblical knowledge among those who would call themselves the ministers of Christ. And um, I mean, the atrocities that have happened in America in evangelicalism, just in the pulpit itself, the tomfoolery, the lack of reverence. Uh, if you have a church that's not a praying church, it's because you, you have non-praying elders. Um, the church is not biblical is because you have non-biblical elders. False teachers are God's judgment on people who don't want God, but in the name of religion, plan on getting everything their carnal heart desires. That's why a Joel Olstein is raised up. Those people who sit under him are not victims of him. He is the judgment of God upon them because they want exactly what he wants and it's not God. Hear me. Those of you who have not been called to preach, you are not less than. You are not less Christian. You are not less important. You are not less significant in the grand scheme of things because God did not put us here so that we could just sit in church, so that we could just read our Bibles and then do nothing with what we learned. But he intended that the world would be impacted and that the world would be shaped, and that the world would be formed, and that the world would be transformed. 